Do I need one or do I need more power cells? I think I need just one. I hope I need just one. I mean, what will happen? Can I put it here? No, I can't. I can't do anything with this. Okay, so let's just get back here. It was a very interesting experience with you, lady, and I'm sorry for your um, uncomfortable situation, but I'm afraid I cannot help you any way, in any way. Okay, here also I cannot do anything. I'm so sorry, my man. I wish I could help you. I wish I could help you all, guys, but... You know how it is. Okay, I'm leaving. And... Man, I would say that I have a power cell, so what? Do I, do I leave? Should I, let, you know, let, let's try going down. I'm so glad the lady didn't do anything to me. Um, there's the staircase. Oh, but still my heart is racing. Oh, and he's away. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, nice, nice. Jesus Christ. Please don't, maybe? Don't follow me anywhere, I'm just... Hi, I want, I want to check out the map because I'm lost. Clean room, no. Dive room, I think so, right? He's here as well. I mean, how did she get here? Sorry, lady. I'm just, I'm just passing through. I mean, did she jump the, the I don't know, the floor? Yeah. Off another one of Wow's oh monsters. Oh my god. We have everything we need, right? I hope so. Yeah. Let's get to work. I mean, I have goosebumps and I want to cry. <sighs> oh, hell. This yeah. Crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. No, it will work. Just pour some, some on it. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. And the battery? The power pack? Or, or maybe the power pack was connected to the... Um, to the... Oh my god, sorry, I'm still shaking. <sighs> uh, to the Cortex chip. Wait, what, what does she want? Close the door. Yeah, and activate. I cannot activate. Have I forgot something? No, everything is cool in here. Door is closed. Uh, what? What do you want me to do? I need you to activate the power suit. From oh, the okay, terminal. okay. Um, power suit. Usage control, no. Try activation. Uh, it would, what, what, put D, okay. Oh my lord. Oh, I guess it, I can't believe I guess it works. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the I arc. mean. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? 
close my eyes and then... And then open them again. Mm. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Mm. I mean, I'm I'm thinking very... We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand okay. it. Just make them line up. Okay. Okay, almost. No, too much. Too much? This should be... Or is this one okay? Yeah? No? Hmm... Oh, this one should work. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Um, Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. <laughs> Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having your picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. <laughs> you know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. Oh my god, Catherine. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a deja vu. still talking it's the same like before Catherine why was he still talking that's how it works you know that what do you mean you know it's not magic you were copied the sleeping Simon in the seat was copied and now you are here just like Simon lived on in Toronto god damn you Kath two Simons there can't be two Simons what did you think would happen that you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body like a brain <laughs> transplant I'm sorry it wouldn't work that way you realize how messed up this is please I didn't mean to upset how did you expect me to react to this shit Stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Yeah, tough choice. Although, to be honest, I was thinking about it quite a lot. And, and... <sighs> yeah, I think, I think it would be cruel leaving him here. Just like, just like, I plugged out the other robots. I think, I think leaving them here just existing is cruel. Because how, what, what will he do? How, uh, he will have to run away from the monsters that are, that are just running around here. But on the other hand, I know that he, I, I don't think he would want that. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> okay. I guess this is how this is how we proceed. Yeah, I don't know how to explain this, but I think this was the right choice. 
Although on the other hand, I feel like this is a huge, let's say, disrespect for life. But then again, we come back to the question is, was this life, the person, the person's mind existing in a, in a, let's say, vehicle? I mean, I don't know. I don't like this ramp. I don't feel safe on it. Oh, oh great. Where am I supposed to go? Because I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, right. I mean, Simon, if only you could swim. We could have just jumped there, but no. What? Oh, those were fish. I thought it was something bigger. Okay, at least these, this ladder is here. Too bad I can't look down. But maybe Simon doesn't want to look down. Oh, okay, so this is our elevator. I mean... Am I getting a distortion? Why am I... Oh! Oh, you! Hello, baby. Are you coming with me? Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clown, please. Sure thing. Activate the what? Um. Descent passengers. One. Button. Anything? Oh. Yes. No. Um, uh, oh, this, no, I'm, this, this allows me to sit, um, I'm not sure what am I supposed to do, this is not working, this is not working, um, Passengers to no what one descend and if I sit nothing happens. Yeah, hmm. That's strange. Okay, maybe I missed something at the top. Here? No. Is there anything in here? No. I am missing something for sure, but I'm not sure what. It was this robot friend. Maybe he could help me. Oh, this! Okay, lever. Why two? It's one. Hmm? Button? Okay, I am. Okay, I have a very bad <laughs> flashback from the from from one of the trains. Is that even possible? If there's some kind of afterlife. Do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. Is there still room for me? What about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? She doesn't want to talk. It's dumb luck, right? That I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? 
How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist's brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... What?